Pattern Beauty has come out with another round of products and y'all, we gotta talk. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, special welcome to you. So today we are getting into these Pattern Beauty styling products. If you didn't know, now you know, Tracy came through and launched a second round of products. So as soon as those products dropped, I went ahead and purchased a bundle immediately and I have been spending the past week and a half or so doing multiple wash and goes in order for me to come on here and do an in-depth review. So not only are we going to be talking about these products, but I am going to be going through a whole demo of these products and showing you how I achieved this wash and go here using the products in the best way I know for them to work for my curls. And then towards the end of this video, we are going to chat because there's a lot to talk about when it comes to these styling products, okay? So make sure you're watching all the way until the end to get the full amount of all the tea because there's some things that we really got to talk about so if you're interested in seeing all of that just continue to watch we're about to jump straight into it right now after you subscribe to my channel all right so this is a really fun and exciting video first off i have to say tracy ellis ross is one of my favorite people i just really really love her i love her energy i love her vibe and so when she first launched pattern beauty i was so hyped so excited and then i got that first round of products and i was then just as quickly as I was excited about it, I was really, really sad and disappointed. Her first round of products were just more wash day products, so conditioners, shampoos, and majority of them, I believe it's every single one, except for like one of the products, all had silicones in them. And y'all know me, I don't like to use silicones in my curls. So I was a little bit disappointed in that. But then Tracy came through with a new set of products and it looks like she listened to our feedback and now her styling products are all silicone free. So I'm really excited about that. So for all of the styling products on the back, you will notice where it says paraben free, free of SLS, color safe, silicone free, filetate free, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but that's how we're gonna do it today, and formaldehyde free as well. So y'all know me, I'm always about the clean beauty, clean ingredients, so I always, always love to see packaging with all of that stuff on there so I don't have to spend time reading ingredients lists and stuff. You just off the bat know that they're safe to use. So instead of actually picking and choosing which styling products I purchased, I decided to go ahead and purchase a bundle of products because I really wanted to give Pattern Beauty a second try. Like I said, I love Tracy and I also am obsessed with the brand itself, the way it brands itself, the packaging. I mean, hello, have you ever seen any cuter packaging in the entire world. I love it and I just also love like how unique it is. So from the get go, I've always genuinely wanted to love Pattern, but it just, it fell short with that first launch. So when this came out, I was ready. I'm like, all right, we're really gonna put these to the test. So the bundle that I ended up going with is called the Deluxe Styling Bundle and it went for $140 online. You get six products and then you get three tools slash like accessories for natural hair. So the Deluxe Styling Bundle came with two gels. So one is a Stronghold Gel and then the other is called the Curl Gel. It came with a styling cream, hydrating mist, edge control and a leave-in conditioner which I didn't use because it has silicones in it this is one of the ones from her first launch and then the three styling tools slash accessories that came with the bundle are this set of three satin scrunchies which I love these are so nice and y'all know how satin is for curly hair this is like I really love these a variety pack of hairpins and it comes with 30 hairpins 30 long hair pins and then 30 matte bobby pins which is really really cool and I also love that it comes in this cute little case and then the last thing that came in the bundle is this beautiful pick it is probably the most beautiful pick I've ever seen and it comes in this velvet casing I mean this is gorgeous and it's huge so right off the bat, I can already tell you that even from the first launch, I really did love the Pattern Beauty hair tools and hair accessories. I'm always using their microfiber towel. That is bomb. That was part of the first launch and I love it. Like I just genuinely think that they put extra thought into their natural hair accessories to make it better and more curated for curly hair. So the accessories and tools definitely get a pass, but what about these products? So first off the bat, I really wanted to love these because of the ingredients change. I absolutely love the fact that they took our feedback and came through with the silicone free styling products 
and I just I love a company that is able to listen to their customers and then come back better like I can definitely respect that and I really really love that they did that so when I heard that I was happy but then my main focus became like do the products work are they effective so I spent the past week and a half playing around with these products doing multiple wash and goes seeing what I like what I don't like and I finally figured out how to use the products and which products out of this bundle that I actually will use for my curly hair in order to get a decent wash and go. So what I'm gonna do is show you this product demo first, we're gonna go do the wash and go, and then we'll be back to discuss our final thoughts on everything. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this demo. I am starting with freshly washed hair that is soaking wet, y'all know that's how I like to do. And so first I'm just gonna go ahead and start by sectioning my hair. All right, so y'all can see how quickly my hair is drying. So what I'm gonna do is, as usual, just continue to re-wet each section as as I'm styling it. I would love to use their hair mix to do that, but let me show y'all. I had some issues with the packaging, so I've literally only gotten to use it once and it worked perfectly. Then here, here's what happened. It sprays once, and then if I keep trying to spray, like nothing else, nothing else comes out. And then I just gotta wait for it to like go back up, and then I'll spray again. So that's how slow it would be to spray my hair with this product. I don't think this is Tracy's fault or anything. I just think it maybe just, I got a dud, a little faulty packaging. Um, yeah, I just, I don't have the patience to wait like 30 seconds for this to pop back up and then spray again, ain't nobody got time. Otherwise, the actual formulation of the mist was okay to me. Um, it wasn't anything special, it wasn't anything bad about it, it was just like, okay, cool, a hair mist, you know? It wasn't like overly oily, I know some hair mists can be a little bit oily and kind of cause more product buildup, but I did find this pretty lightweight and decent, it's just that the packaging didn't really work for me. So, instead, I'm gonna be using my trusty mixture of water and conditioner in my little spray bottle that never leads me straight. Another one of their styling products that I won't be using is their styling cream so like I said I have done a few wash and goes with this and their styling cream is legit just way too thick in consistency for my curls I personally prefer a leave-in conditioner or a styling cream that kind of just soaks into the hair shaft something that just makes my curls feel nice and juicy this on the other hand is just so thick that it kind of just sits on top of my hair and when I was applying it it was just completely white I'm kicking myself because I didn't actually film that part so I can't show you exactly what it looked like but I'm telling y'all like when I was applying this for my wash and go it just like my strands my hair strands looked really white I will say that with time when it dried it didn't dry with any flakes which I was really worried about we didn't have any of those issues but I did feel like it kind of weighed my hair down it didn't give me as much moisture as I would like in a styling cream and so I don't know I just wasn't a fan of this product here is a real close-up like you guys can see how thick this thing is, okay? Thick, 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 thick. The consistency would have been fine if the product kind of just like, I don't know, melted into my curls like how some of my other leave-in conditioners and styling creams will do. But again, I just didn't like the way that this felt like it was just sitting on top of my hair. So yeah, instead of using the Pattern Beauty Styling Cream, I'm just gonna use one of my regular favorite styling creams and today I am using the Curlsmith Weightless Air Dry Cream. And then for styling, I'm actually gonna be using both of the Pattern Beauty gels. So I'm gonna be picking up their Curl Gel, which is their more lightweight, medium hole gel. It's got a teensy bit more tackiness to it, and it is a little bit more on the creamy side. So I'm going in with this first. All right, so this is how we're looking with the Curl Gel on its own. As you can see, we do still have a little bit of whiteness, but it's definitely nowhere near as bad as the Styling Cream. And I also feel like the Curl Gel just kind of adds a little bit more moisture and a more juice to my curls than the Styling Cream did. So I I do definitely prefer this product in my hair, but because it is a medium hole gel, in order to make sure we got all our bases covered and we still gonna be snatched by tomorrow, I am going to go in on top of this with the Stronghold gel. So this gel definitely is thick. Like look at how, honestly it is so thick. I feel like her products in general, the consistency of these styling products are pretty thick. So here's a close up of what it actually looks like. So literally like, she don't move. It has a little bit of tackiness, but you can see that it's not very jelly-like. It's just, it's just thick. 
is thick is what she is. So to seal in everything, I'm just using the prayer hand methods to make sure all of the product is nice and evenly distributed throughout the entire section. All right, so this is how we're looking. I think we got a little bit of extra definition. It just took us to a whole nother level. My hair does look a little bit white, especially at the ends here. I don't know, but the last couple times I did a wash and go, the whiteness did go away. So I'm hoping it's the same this time around as well. So next I'm just going in and repeating those same steps for my next sections of hair. All right, so this is how we are looking now that my hair is completely filled with all the products that I wanted to style with today. And I will say definitely that the curl definition is there. There's definitely lack of frizz. I do still see the white spots, but again, we're hoping for that to go away once my hair is fully dry. But yeah, so far so good. I will say it definitely feels different from my normal gels that I use, my normal products. It does feel a little bit, I don't know, a little bit heavier. Like my hair feels a little bit heavier, a little bit more full of products. So I don't know if that has to do with the thickness of these products. I really do feel kind of like the stylers more just sit on top of your hair instead of actually being like soaked in to the hair shaft. I don't know. It just... It definitely feels a little bit different from what I'm used to with my other products. But again, no frizz and good curl definition, so I'm really not that mad. I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair so we can do a little side part style today, and then we are gonna slick our edges with some edge control. Off the bat, I'm gonna tell y'all straight, right now the edge control is so, so good. It's actually my favorite styling product that they came out with. And not only that, but it is my favorite edge control ever like so far this is definitely top tier I absolutely love it now let me tell you why so here you can see what it kind of looks like and you can see like I have been using this thing I've been digging into it it's so good so let's go ahead and see this in action first thing I'm gonna do is just rub it between my fingers here and I'm just gonna press it down either side of my part just to make sure that my part is gonna stay in place once it's dry. All right, and then now we're gonna get into these edges. I always just like to start by smoothing the product out on my edges first before we actually get to designing. All right, so here is how we are looking. I'm super happy with the edge control, honestly. While we were doing our edges, you can see that my hair has had time to dry a little bit, and as it's drying, the whiteness, like I was expecting, is starting to go away. So I'm really, really happy about that. We still got curl definition, and I don't see any frizz starting up. So I'm pretty happy with how we look. So far, I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse just a little bit off camera, and then I will meet y'all back in the studio for the final thoughts on everything. All right, so back in the studio and these are the final results. So as you can see, I have no frizz and just a ton of curl definition, which has resulted in a little bit of shrinkage, but this is to be expected when you just have insane curl definition. You can see that my edges are still intact from the edge control. Everything is basically fully dry except for a little bit of a middle patch right here. So I was initially worried about getting white flakes and stuff like that from the whiteness of the products, but that has completely gone away and like you guys can see there's literally no flakes, no issues. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I am very happy with this wash and go. Actually, this wash and go that I just showed you guys is the best wash and go that I have achieved with these products. So let's talk about what I did use. First off, this curl gel is so unique. It's such a unique product. When I first tried it and looked at it and looked at the consistency, it was just so different from any other product that I have seen. And so I was kind of intrigued by it, like, wow, I haven't actually tried it by itself. I kind of knew off the bat that it was not gonna be able to offer as much hold as I would like for my curls, which is why I wanted to mix the gels together, which clearly worked very well. It just made my curls feel so juicy and it really started to help defining them. And then that's when we went in on top to slap in that curl definition with a stronghold gel. This is also another very unique product in terms of consistency. Like honestly, this consistency reminds me mostly of the Aunt Jackie's Curl Boss gel, where it's not a jelly type of gel, but it's also like not a very fluid kind of gel either. It is clear and it's thick. So I didn't get enough shine and moisture with this on its own, and then I obviously didn't get enough hold with this on its own. This offers all the shine and moisture, this offers all the holds, so like when you put them together, it's perfect. <laughs> I really don't know how I'm feeling about the gels anymore. So the first couple of times when I used them, I realized that 
day one it looked okay and then by day two it was frizzy i genuinely thought when i styled it today that it had looked better and so i was expecting it to you know last a little bit but i mean this is day one hair that you're looking at and it already kind of looks a little trashy you guys can see right here it looks frizzy <laughs> Like, my ends look really defined, which is, like, the crazy part, right? But then it's, like, the top here is getting super frizzy now, and it's still day one. It's only been a couple hours later. I haven't done anything. I went to go and grab some food, walk my dog, and then I'm laying down in bed, and I'm noticing, like, what is all this frizz in the front? I also don't feel any more of, like, a very strong cast. Like, you know, normally by day three or so you kind of feel the cast is like fully gone from your hair with the gel and that's how you know like by day four it's probably time for a rewash like i don't feel any cast anymore everything is very 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 soft and so i can tell like this is obviously not going to last long because it's already it's already frizzing up i'm so confused because i really really wanted to love these products and i genuinely thought today like okay this is the wash and go that i've mastered with these products and it's good but i don't know if i can even recommend any of these gels for y'all anymore i just had to come on because y'all know i'm always honest and i just wanted to show you it looks like the gels work for a couple hours and then yeah i've seen a few other bloggers who have used it but they do have much looser curls so i'm wondering if maybe this works better for looser curls it doesn't really have the level of hold that my curls need i mean y'all know how my curls normally look and this is not how i look on the night of my wash day no all right so let's move right along to what i didn't use which is that thick styling cream. I hated the fact that it was so thick and then also was just like a heavy white thickness in my hair. I don't know, I just feel like this styling cream kind of just sits on top of the hair. So for me personally, my hair really didn't enjoy this. It was just too thick and it just didn't work. All right, I think we also need to discuss the hair mist. Y'all saw my demo, the struggles that I had with the packaging. I don't know if I just got a dud. Can y'all comment below and let me know if you received the hair mist and if you're having this issue. Now, in terms of the actual product itself, I only had a chance to use it once before this thing started locking up on me. Um, and I would say it didn't leave my hair over greasy or over sticky or anything. So I actually really kind of enjoyed the product itself, but the packaging, was really really frustrating and I it like it just can't be used I'm actually considering pouring this out into my other spray bottle and maybe trying it that way because I do genuinely like the product that much but again the packaging just kind of really made it unusable for me which is sad all right and then the last product here is my absolute favorite product out of this entire styling bundle and that is the edge control if you guys have seen my recent video that just went up this Thursday I spoke about my summer must have products in order to get your hair and skin like in check for summer and this definitely keeps my edges under control in the summer heat and everything I really put this to the test I put it on one morning I went out for errands I was standing outside UPS in the hot sun and went to walk my dog and everything and this kept my edges in control the other thing I really enjoyed about it is that it is still really a movable product while you're applying it I hate the edge controls that are just so stiff and so strong that as soon as you lay them on your edges you have to hurry up and like design your edges really really quick before it actually freezes like that is too stressful for me and I ain't got time for that like I just really don't like those kind of edge controls but this is not like that at all it's great it's movable and then it just locks your edges Edges in place once you're ready let me just tell you for me personally getting my edges to lock in place while my hair is out has always been a challenge but they literally haven't moved since I filmed the demo the best part is again like all the rest of these styling products that she came out with it's paraben free SLS free color safe silicone free like none of that stuff so you can be sure that your edges aren't going to disappear on you one day 
So yeah, those are my thoughts on the Pattern Beauty products. We got my yes list, we got my no list, and I really hope that you guys found this super useful. If you have any more like specific questions for me, just go ahead and comment them below. I really make an effort to get to every single comment eventually. So just go ahead and comment below and we can get into talking more about these products. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't in the beginning, you got one more chance. And then you can check out these next two videos. I'll catch y'all the next one. Bye.